Hello guys, it's been a while since I've made a last video, but I'm back, kind of, not really, I just have no time. I don't know if this counts as a tutorial, but this will be uh, me answering a bunch of fire alpaca related questions that I get very often. So, the first question I'm going to answer is the one I get the most often, which is you accidentally close the window, so you were just messing around, and then whoops, the color's gone and the layers are gone. Okay, wow, what's gonna happen? I can't, and you can't get them back, and you say you've reinstalled it so many times, and the layers or the windows still don't come back. What should you do? Guys, you do not have to reinstall Fire Alpaca, that is going way too far. If you accidentally close a window, like all of these right here, all you gotta do, go up here to Window, right here, you see this tab, click it. And then click whatever you deleted. So you see the check marks next to palette and navigator? That's because they're still there. But color, I accidentally clicked out of it. So you just click it and it's back. Crazy, right? So let me go back. Uh, brush, I accidentally clicked that, but it's back. Layers, go to layer right there. It's back. So another common question I get is the circle around my brush. When I'm Changing the size, you can see the circle right in the middle. I was going to point to it with my finger, but you guys can't see my finger. But there, it's really big, really small. Hopefully, you can see that. I'm hoping it's not, like, not recording that. Some of you guys don't have this circle around your brush. And it makes it kind of hard for you to see the size. And um, you want to know how to get that circle. Well, if you want to get this circle around your brush, just go up to View. Click that. And you see Brush Size? Click it. You probably don't have to check mark because you don't have it. So see without it. Here it is. Look, I don't I can't even see. When I'm changing the size, it shows up. But I go here, it's not there. And it can be kind of confusing and um hard. So view, brush size, click it, and the circle is there. Yay! Easy as that. Alright. Another question I get is the circle snap. So you guys have seen me when I sketch, I use this circle thing up here. So that I can draw a perfect circle because I'm a cheater. But some of you guys say every time I open it, um, the circle snap comes in the corner. How do I make it so that I can change it to be in the center? That is also an easy fix. Well, it's not really a fix. It's, it's not a problem at all. It's just, you'll see. So it's in the corner. You mean it looks like this. It probably looks like this when you first open it. It's in the corner and you can't find a way to move it. You use the move tool and nothing happens. It doesn't work with the snap. To move the circle from the corner. Let me lock this by the way. <laughs> All you got to do is you see this button right over here. It should be like a little period right there. If you hover over it, it says snap setting. So you click on that and then you just go over your canvas and it follows you wherever you go you're not i'm not dragging anything i'm just kind of hovering once you find a place you want your circle to be just click it and it stays and that's how you move your circle this can uh be used for all the other snaps too so let's see you see this right here the diagonal snap if i want to move the angle i also just click here and then it follows me and then I can change it to whatever angle I want. So that's how you move the circle from the corner to anywhere else. I'm pretty sure you should have it. If not, it might be hidden. Let me see if I can drag this. Yeah, like if it's like this and you, you probably can't see it. So make sure to these dots right here, just drag that until it pops up like that. So there you go. Another common question I get is how to copy and paste. So I'm assuming you're completely new to the computer world because copy and paste should be the same you know code for any program you use but i don't know maybe that's just for mac so to copy and paste okay i'm gonna let me open nah i'm just gonna draw this heart that is the most look at that a beautiful heart perfect i want to copy and paste that because i need more than just one heart so select it using whatever tool that you want so um so let's see i'm gonna use the lasso tool just because it's easiest for me I'm going to go around it and it depends on what computer you use. For me, it's command C for copy, but if you don't know your codes, just go up to here to edit and press copy and there should be the code right here. So see right here, command C, that's my code. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to paste it. So go to edit and then let's see, paste right there. And then you can just drag that around and there you go. Of course, you don't have to use your lasso, you can use this 
or sometimes you don't even have to use that if I press copy and then paste it automatically copies and pastes the layer that I'm on so I'll show you because you probably couldn't see like that but I'm gonna do a new layer and I'm gonna draw another heart beautiful and then I'm gonna copy and notice I didn't select anything I just press copy and then I'm gonna press paste and here it is it's another one of that heart because I was on that layer so it copied and pasted the layer I was on so that's another cool thing. Another, I keep, <laughs> I was gonna say, another common question I get, but all of these questions I get are very common, which is the selecting thing. So you selected something, I'm gonna draw uh, another heart, beautiful. And you selected it and you moved it or you did whatever you wanted to do with it. And now you can't deselect it, which means unselect it. A lot of you guys say you, you can't, deselect it you can't you're like oh i can't draw anywhere else because i can't unselect it well to unselect something that you've selected there is a code for it as well but if you don't know it you go to select and you press deselect and of course the code to do that or the i keep saying code but the shortcut key for me on mac is command d command that d but <laughs> i ooh, should i cut that out i have relatives who follow me um and co-workers but just deselect it and it's no longer selected magical so again I'm gonna show you using the shortcut key which is command D and it's gone and you can finally draw wherever you want again that is magic all right to the last question that I get very often which is how to copy and paste so that and reverse an eye because uh, you can't draw two eyes you know it's hard I understand so you want to copy and paste the other eye so let's see I have um, I have a line art that's pretty good let's see this one okay uh, maybe this isn't a good example okay let me draw something for you guys all right so I'm gonna draw the same eye that I draw all the time because you know same face syndrome uh, here he is, give him some eyelashes because he's so beautiful. He's going to look over here. Great. That's okay. So you drew the most perfect eye that you've ever drawn. But as you know, it's really hard to draw two eyes because I don't know. It's just really hard. You want to copy and paste this eye and then reverse it so I can go on this side. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is do not make this a habit, okay? <laughs> do not do this very often. I can promise you, you, it will be easier if you practice. Of course, I know that's, I say that every time. I'm sorry. But uh, when I first started digitally drawing, I would do this a lot. And whenever I would want to draw on paper, it was really hard because I can't copy and paste an, an eyeball on paper it doesn't work that way and then my other eye would be really bad because I didn't practice so please don't make this a habit if only do it when it's completely 100% necessary but t learn to draw the other eye for Pete's sake please learn okay okay practice okay to copy and paste the other eye you of course select it like this and then um copy paste I already taught you how to do that so you should know how and so you should have another layer right here with that same eyeball you go up to layer rotate and then flip horizontally Ta-da! and then you just command T or you know whatever let's see where's the select transform transform is how you rotate anything or um, change the size or whatever of anything for me it's command T so I commanded T that and then I have you see this how my brush is like um, a little fl turny flippy circle thing I just hold down and change it to whatever angle I need it to be uh, there you go and then to move it I just go over it like that and there you go that eye is kind of big but you get how to do it so that is how you copy paste and reverse a second eyeball like I said do not make this a habit. It is bad. I mean, it's not bad, but God, it's going to make it so much harder for you when you want to draw something live or like if you want to do a speed paint or do a live stream and then people are watching as you copy and paste the second eye because you can't draw the other eye. <laughs> I, I Like I said, I used to do it all the time too. 
but it's gotten a lot easier since I do the circle thing for eyes. I've talked about that in another video, so feel free to watch that. But yeah, please just practice. All right, those are all of the very common questions that I get. Wait, I am lying. Um, I get another question very often, which is, is Fire Alpaca free? Where can I download it? Is it available for my computer? All right, so here we go. So the first step you wanna do is go to Google and then type in Fire Alpaca. Oops, I misspelled it. So a lot of you guys are um, worried about you know, bad websites or, you know, scamming websites. The first one should be the official website, which is firealpaca.com slash. It says EN for English for me, but um, it depends on the country you're in. But yes, it should be firealpaca.com slash whatever. That is the official website. So it is the safest one. You just click on that and it tells you right here, it's free forever. So that answers another question. And then here says free paint tool for Mac and Windows, which should answer your other question. Like I said, or not like I said, but Google is your best friend. Do your research, because this question shouldn't be asked to me, okay? <laughs> okay, all done. Here are the two download buttons for Mac and Windows. Click on that. Of course, if you have a Mac, something might pop up that's like, are you sure you want to download this? Because, uh, wh what is it? Like, the something is unauthorized or the whatever. Um, Macs are kind of picky, and they're very overprotective. Kind of like your friend... Your, your sober friend when you're drunk and you're making drunk decisions and they're like, are you sure you want to do that? That's exactly what a Mac is. So uh, just ignore that. Say, yes, I want to download it. And once you first download it, it might not let you open it because it's from an unauthorized user. All you got to do to force it open is to uh, right click it and then there should be like open or something and that should force it to open and it shouldn't ask you to, uh, it shouldn't deny you again. So there you go. Another question answered because I did your research for you. You are so welcome. I, I, <laughs> that came out really bitter. <laughs> All right. Time for me to go and work on other videos because gosh dang, I, I only have three more hours to work on videos for the entire week. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. I never say that out loud because oh, that's embarrassing. But please subscribe and like and um, all that stuff. And I hope you found this helpful and feel free to request any other videos all right thank you have a good week be good be good people do good things i love you have a good uh, oh, whatever owls are superior to everything bye